Hello and welcome to the Forcetronics blog. In this post, we're going to talk about using thyristors to switch on and off AC line power. So let's say you wanted to do a project where you wanted to control your lights and you didn't want to use mechanical switches because mechanical switches have a finite life. You could use a thyristor, which is a solid state device, has no moving parts to basically control the AC power going to your lights by switching the power on or off. Okay, what is a thyristor? A thyristor is a solid state device like a transistor or a MOSFET. It can be used to switch on and off a signal, but what's great is those other devices can only work with DC. A thyristor, or more importantly, a type of thyristor that we're gonna use here, a triac, can be used to turn on and off an AC signal. And a triac or a thyristor is basically multiple PM junctions sandwiched together. I'm not gonna get into the physics or the theory behind it. One thing to note, though, is they're not good for DC. In fact, if you use it for a DC signal, it'll work at first. When you apply a voltage to the gate, the thyristor will turn on, but you won't be able to turn it off, even if you remove the gate voltage. Another challenge using a thyristor as a switch is whether you're using an Arduino or any type of digital control or a digital circuit or a microcontroller, is you want to keep your DC digital away from your AC signals. You want to keep them isolated. So here's the parts list for the example I'm going to do, and you can see the triac at the top. It's just a general purpose triac that I'm using. Also, second, you see the, an opto isolator. An opto isolator is the device that's going to keep our digital DC isolated, electrically isolated from our AC. And then I'm just going to use an Arduino Uno to control the triac through the opto isolator. I have a couple resistors, which I'll talk about what they're for. I have a, a basic light and then I have a breadboard and some jumper cables and general wiring. Here's a schematic of our setup. Actually on the top is the schematic of the opto isolator. So it's, it's a chip, it has six pins. And basically what you can see, if you look at pin one and two, you're simply turning on and off a diode or I should say a light emitting diode, an LED that's gonna send using light uh, to control the other half of the opto isolator circuit that's going to apply a voltage to the thyristor gate to turn it on and off the thyristor or the triac. So you can see that the opto isolator is essentially electrically isolated. Pin one and two is electrically isolated from the rest of the opto isolator. So our DC and our AC do not get mixed. If you look at the bottom, here's the schematic for our setup. Basically, uh, in pin one, we're gonna have five volts. You can see a, a one kilo ohm resistor. And so if I have five volts at VCC, if I make pin two low, I'm gonna get five milliamps flowing through my diode. So that's what this opto isolator needs to turn on that, that diode or make the diode work properly and send the light signal to the other half of the opto isolator circuit to basically actuate or switch the triac. So the Arduino pin to, to turn the light off or to have the triac act like an open, the Arduino pin is gonna be high. To turn on the light or to make the triac act like a short, the Arduino pin will be low. And then if we look at the other half of the circuit, we can see our triac there, we can see our hot at the top. The load at the bottom near the neutral is the light where the light will be connected in series. And basically I just took one of the wires of the light and spliced it and connected to the two ends of the triac. The other resistors in there, I just got from the opto isolator uh, data sheet. One thing to note, I'm working with 115 volts AC uh, here in the US, that's what we use. If you're in a country that uses 240 volt AC, you can use this opto isolator and this triac. They're both rated high enough to work with 240. One thing to note though is uh, some of these resistor values will change. So just go to the opto isolator data sheet and it'll explain what, what resistors to use. So I just wrote a simple Arduino sketch. First, I'm gonna make pin three, digital pin three, an output. And I want it to be an output because we actually need current to flow into it. And if it's configured as an input, that's not gonna work. If we configure it as an output, I think the Arduino chip can handle 40 milliamps and we need it to handle five milliamps. So we're gonna make that an output. Uh, I'm gonna make it high 
at first, so the light will be off or the triac will act like an open. Then if we go down to the loop, uh, I just have a two second delay and then I call this function tog light and all this function is gonna do is in two seconds, it's gonna turn the pin high. The next two seconds, it's gonna turn it low, then high, then low, it's just gonna to toggle back and forth. So that is the code, pretty simple code. So now let's see our Triac Opto Isolator and Arduino in action. Uh, here's our setup. Here's our Arduino Uno, of course. Here is the Triac. Here's our resistors. And then here's our Opto Isolator. As you can see, it's white. I'm not quite sure why it's white. Chips are usually black. I'm not. First white chip I've seen, anyway. So there's our circuit, the alligator clips or the jumper wires are connecting the AC light to the triac. You can see the light turn on, turn off, turn on again. I think it's gonna turn off one more time. Okay, so that is the tutorial on using thyristors to switch AC. Uh, another great thing too is they're low cost, the opto isolator and the, the triac itself, they're low cost and no moving parts. If you want to grab the Arduino code or the schematics for this video, go to my blog if you're looking at this on YouTube. And for more contact, more tutorials, or even projects for electronics, go to my blog or YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.